Hey everybody, uh, it's Travis here from Print On Demand Cast, and I said that I would show you uh, this new tool that I found recently. And yes, I am late to the party on this particular tool, but I recently found it, and I am loving it. Um, it's I've told a couple of people it's like the software that I wished had existed like five year, five or six years ago, you know, and, um, and I've always kind of looked for something like this. Now, I mean, I'll be honest, it doesn't do every single thing that I'd love it, love for it to do, but it does a whole lot of stuff. So, um, no more suspense. Uh, the software that I'm talking about is my designs. So you may already have this. You may have already heard about it. You may have seen things, people talking about it. It's been on the scene for a while. And I've had other people tell me, you know, oh, you need to check it out. And I'm like, yep, yep, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Well, I finally did. And um, I'm just blown away. So um, this is my little my design screen. So I'm going to I'm going to actually do a quick demo on how quickly you can list with this thing. And I'm probably going to pause a little bit, but um, I, I want you to know that it's really fast the way it does this. But anyway, so if I wanted to, let's just say I want to, you know, jump in here and make some ornaments for Amazon. I'm actually in one of my folders. I have these collections here um, that, you know, are basically folders. And I, I've been just doing these for Amazon and for Etsy. And then when I list them, I put them in a new folder. I don't know if that's going to be my, you know, preferred way to organize all this. But right now I'm actually in my ornaments for Amazon folder. And um, I'm going to upload some files to this particular um, folder. And I've got them over here on my other. And this is uh, 20 designs. And they're basically just, you know, um, really simple designs. And I'm going to upload these. And this isn't going to take very long. Um, I'm, I may pause it, but that one's already uploaded. That one's already uploaded. Uh, I kind of don't want to pause it just so you see how fast it is. I was pretty blown away because um, it does most things this fast. <laughs> it's really cool. So we're almost done. And yeah, you can fast forward if you want, but I just wanted you to see how quickly this does this. Now these are small files because they're there's not a lot to these PNGs. They have transparent backgrounds. Um, you can optimize these and make them, you know, exactly the size you want, et cetera, et cetera. But once you have them in here, so I have 20 listings in here and I'm going to select them all. Okay. And the first thing I want to do is I want to see, I want to do some mockups. So I'm going to go to mockups. I'm going to go to image mockups. Um, and I'm going to come here to other and search for ornaments. Okay. Or ornament, I guess. And here's all my ornaments. You can see there's ceramic and aluminum, so I want to make sure I get the right ones. I'm going to come up here and select multi mockup so I can select more than one. For some reason, this Bella Canvas always jumps out uh, right off the bat um, as selected, but so I'm going to click off of that. But I'm going to click, let's see, I like this one. I've been enjoying that one. I like this one with the hand. If I'm going to do front and back, I can, I could select this one. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and make these front and back. And, uh, yeah, let's maybe do that's, these are aluminum. And so you can just kind of go and look at all of these options and I'm going to do this one. Here. Yeah, that's the back how about, how about this one, right? Well, no. <laughs> oh, since I'm doing Amazon, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one, which is, a has the white background and you can hover over these. It says ceramic ornament plain. So this says a plain white background. And I think I actually want that one to be mock-up one. Uh, because Well, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm not going to mess with that. So anyway, so I've got f these four mock-ups. You can see um, kind of right here. I'd have to generate the previews. But once I've selected those, you know, three or four or five or whatever, I'm going to generate them. Literally, it's going to generate the mock-ups for all 20 of these with those four. And look, success, job completed. It's already done. Look at that. Boom. There's there's the one. Oh, it's got a hole in it. Ooh, I don't like that. Uh, oh, man. 
These may not be the best examples. <laughs> I may not actually throw these up there, but uh, be because of but I just want to show you kind of what we can do with this whole thing. See, it looks like these were probably yeah need needed to be edited a little bit, maybe made a little uh, given a little extra room on the outside so the text would be and and I didn't do that. So anyway, for this uh, demonstration, you can see. Um, you can see how quickly that added those. Then the other thing you can do if you want, if you have a couple of extra mock-ups like that you always put on your ornaments, um, we do. And so I would click here and I can, well, I don't have to click there. I would literally upload file to multiple listings. And if I click this and I drag, it's gonna go into the mock-up number five. And so once I have it in mock-up number five, I can, uh, it's going to go into mock-up number five on all of these, okay? And so then I do number six, number seven, number eight, however many I have, if I have, like, again, mock-ups that I always use. Um, the other thing that you can do is, oh, so, so now that I have these mock-ups, and we're just going to go back to the first one, um, I want to create a title, some tags, a description. That's where Vision AI comes in. And you see I have these credits here, and you'd think it's AI. It's going to use up credits. Well, Vision AI does not, which is super cool. So first you select the product type. Again, we're going to do ornament. Okay. And uh, ornament's right there. You can select your platform that you're actually trying to, uh, you know, produce content for. In this case, we're going to use Etsy because there is no Amazon. There is Amazon Merch, but Amazon Seller Central is not available currently. So I'm just going to use Etsy. And this is their model. Um, I'm going to use the 1.5. There's a 1 and a 1.5. So I leave that alone. I'm going to do the title, the description, and the tags. Product features, you can add this or you can come back if you have like a certain thing that you always put at the end of your description um, with... Uh, with with ornaments or with just your store in general, you can basically add that description stuff later if you want. Um, for this, I'm just going to go ahead and put them in here, uh, the product features. And this is, wait a second here. Let's see, ornament. Um, where is the round ceramic ornament? So that's the uh, product we're going to use. And then custom instructions, you know, if... Um, uh, it, if you had some other specific information that you wanted to add to it to make the AI aware, you know, if uh, these are all, for instance, you could say these are all two-sided ornaments. Um, once you have all of that, generate the listing data. And we're going to do it on all 20 listings. And so the AI is going to look at this, know that it's a ceramic, round ceramic ornament, um, and then it's kind of, boom, give me a title, Merry Christmas, y'all, ornament, Christmas tree decoration, holiday tree ornament, festive seasonal ornament, two-sided. That's pretty amazing. Um, you know, maybe I want to add ceramic in there somewhere, but, uh, you know, you can also add, look at all those tags that it gave me. Um, and then the description, celebrate the joy of the season with this beautiful Merry Christmas, y'all, ornament. <laughs> Featuring blah, 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 blah. There's the product features. You could capitalize that if you want. You know, you could do a... So here's the cool thing. Let's say I'm like, oh, I want that to be all capital. I can copy this and go to a quick action. Since I have everything selected, I can go to a quick action. And then I can edit in bulk. And I can say, I want to find and replace in the description. That's what it says. And so I have a space there also, I guess I grabbed, but I want it to go to product features and then the space, okay? Apply to selected listings, boom, and there it is, product features. It's capitalized now. You can also do that with with the editing bulk. You can add to the end of your title, of your description, of your. you can add tags. Um, <laughs> so, like I was saying, if you just if you left off the product features on this, and you had like specific things that you're always gonna say, um, and maybe like you know, hey, look at all of our ornaments by clicking this link, and you can go to our home, go back to our homepage by clicking this link, or you know, different things that you have in your Etsy listings, you can just grab that from another Etsy listing that you've already done an ornament on, 
have it not put the product description in your description here and then do a add to the end of all of my listings and bam, all of that stuff is there and it's ready for you. Uh, so pretty stinking cool. Now, if I want to publish to Etsy, I, you know, I'll connect my store and I would literally click here and I could publish this. It's going to put it in drafts and then I can go in and I can change it. I can tweak it. I can do whatever. Um, but and it's going to ask me about like pricing and what category I want in there. Um, so if I go to Etsy, I'm doing print on demand Etsy. You can save profiles. Um, you can save templates on here. So if you always use the same mockups on a particular, like a shirt or something, you can save that. Um, but if you wanted to do this, you'd come in here and then you'd have to find, you know, the ceramic ornament because it needs to know what it's actually listing. There's your price for Swift Pod. It's going to be 407 with that shipping, two day average production. You can do front and back. Um, the one thing that you would want to do once you decide on this, um, that's the printer I would choose. So um, there it is. I'm going to do front and back. It's still doing its little thing, but I want the front and back. And then it's a three inch, blah, blah, blah. So this is uh, what we're going to go with. Okay. So um, I'm going to pop, I would populate the data. It's going to populate all the mockups. I, and eventually I'd get to pricing. I'm not going to mess with all that right now. I think you see the amazing power of this thing. What I've done also to list these on Amazon, what I'll do is I will, uh, export this right here, export this and get a, a I can get a XLS and the URLs are only available for 30 days, so uh, which totally makes sense. They don't want to store them forever. But if this was my product, I would um, – let's see. Here it comes. And let me drag it over here as well so you can see how nice and pretty it is. So all of these – this is the main URL. So that's the like the print file, just the – you know, nothing, just the, just the print itself. This is the first mock-up. So I'd have to figure out which mock-up was the white background, which is, um, gosh, this is a lot of scrolling. Let me do this. I think it was number four. So it was, yeah, it was this one. So that would be my main image. And then the others would be my other mock-ups. The cool thing about Amazon is that once you post, uh, once you publish the mock-ups, Amazon hosts them from then on, and they don't need the rest of those links. Unless you wanted to change them later, you don't have to worry about those. You do want to save this one. Uh, or I'm sorry, not this one, but uh, your print file, because you might want to make it the specific size, or if you're following um, kind of the my design ID formula, if uh, you know you listen to the print on a man cast and you do DIDs, um, this first one is your print file. And so you want it to be a specific size and you also want it to be named a specific way so you can, you know, play with these things, uh, and they'll play nice. But the cool thing is, is that down back here, you've got a listing title and you've got a listing description <laughs> and you've got listing keywords or tags, you know, if on Amazon, they're keywords. So you can use those. It's, uh, pretty amazing. And you can really quickly fill out a, Amazon upload template and um, upload these really easy. So this is really amazing. This whole um, my designs thing is is amazing. You can actually have this canvas feature where you can take like if I had uh, you know images and and then I I could put like um, a name on this and then when it sells I would get a an alert and I could come in here and customize it. So you can use this for your custom listings as well on Etsy. It'd be a little different on Amazon because Amazon has a different system. Um, same with Walmart. But for Etsy, oh my gosh, you know, you can do all of your custom right here. Okay. So, yeah, you can you can tell I'm blown away because it not only uh, – so, so when they sell, they actually go and get them produced for you. I mean, everything is inside of here. Um, you can see – all of the products here on this in this product catalog, which is going to open up, they've got all kinds of different things, you know. And I'll let you kind of play with this later. You can see all these different products, but um, mugs and you know pillows, and obviously tons of clothing and totes and coffee, or uh, you know hats and you know cases and all the stuff. 
All right, I have fanboyed on my designs enough, but I did want to show you that right now they are currently running a smoking deal uh, for the next two days, seven hours. Um, I thought it was going to be through Monday, but uh, apparently it's just going to go, well, two more days, and, and right now it's Wednesday. So what is that? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah, so Saturday? They might run it another couple of days, but right now it says two hours, so through Saturday. Um, what they're doing is they are doing 30% off on all monthly plans. So if you want to do a monthly, you can do 30% off, and it's forever. Um, and I was told this is uh, this is for existing customers as well. Uh, let me confirm that real quick on my other monitor. I just want to make sure. Um, yeah, and or, or you can do two years for the price of one, and you get extra the Dream AI credit. So the Dream AI, what that allows you to do is literally use AI to create new designs and then already have them inside my designs and then turn them into coffee mugs or T-shirts or whatever. Um, and you can literally AI right inside of my designs. And you get, you know, uh, with the pro plan, well, let's just look at these offers here. With the pro plan, you get 600 credits, okay? With the pro plus plan, you get 2,000 credits. And they're offering, you know, with this plan, this uh, buy one year, get one year free, um, you're getting extra credits. That's the 750 Dream AI credits for free. With the monthly, you get 350. Um, so these are, this is the yearly price. So if you pay for the pro plan, you can pay 275 and you'd get two years of this thing. Or you can pay 900 bucks and get uh, two years of the pro plan, pro plus, which you get a discount of 10% on all those products. Um, you, it's, it's pretty amazing. I'll let you come here and like look through this and decide. Um, if you are to, wanting to do monthly, Right now, with a 30% off, you're looking at $20.99 for the Pro or $69.99 for the Pro Plus. With, and then you get those extra credits uh, only for the next two days and seven hours. Um, if you are seeing this and it's after Black Friday and this sale is no longer going on, this is going to say like $25.99, I think. And this is going to say... Uh, you know, seventy nine ninety nine or eighty nine. I don't know, eighty nine ninety nine, something like that. Um, I do have a twenty five percent off coupon, Travis twenty five, and you'll get twenty twenty five percent off. Get it now and you get thirty. But if you want to try it later and you you miss the thirty percent off or the buy one year get one year, you can at least get twenty five percent off of uh, the month or the year um, plan. So on on either plan, the pro or the plus, but. You can try it for free, okay? So come in here, play around with it. You you are able to do more with these plans. You can do multi-products. You can do like, if you wanted to do a t-shirt and a hoodie and a sweatshirt and, you know, a, a baby onesie. Um, you can do all of that with the, you, because you get to uh, do multi-product publishing. So this one, you can do six products. With the Pro Plus, you can do 99 products on the same listing. It's insane. So um, lots and lots to think about. I know this has been a really long video, but I really thought this is a really cool uh, tool. I wanted to show you the tool. And then I also wanted to show you or tell you about the discount. Um, I do have a link uh, that is in the show notes. It's printondemandcast.com slash mydesigns. Uh, please go to that, and that will take you to this page where you can see uh, that pay one year, get a year free for the next two days and seven hours. So I'm going to get this uploaded and posted so you guys can see this. Um, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so maybe you'll have some downtime. You'll check this out. Uh, but I would highly recommend going to printondemandcast.com slash mydesigns and checking out this offer. Just check out the software, you know, and then um, decide if you want to jump in. I, I'm very excited about it. I feel like I'm going to be producing some more content about this because there's just so many different things you can do with this. Um, so yeah, that's all that I've got for you guys. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving and I will talk to you later.